Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a responsive nav bar in Dora. Let's get started. First, what we're gonna do is to upload our logo. Let's set this image width and height to fixed values. Select a source and then change this to contain. Let's rename our layer and then put this in the top left corner. Next, let's create the navigations. Add a new component and then drag in a new text box. Fill in the navigation and then change its text and size. This text box is automatically hugged, but we need to change the default container to hug contents as well. Let me remove the fill. I wanted to have an underline while hovering, so let's drag a container and then change its color. Set its constraints to align bottom and center, and then change its width to fill and height to 1. Let's add a hover state and then change the underline's opacity to 0 in the default state. Then let's add the interaction by dragging this and then change this to hover. Now that we are done with this component, let's go back to the page. Drag it out and then duplicate it. Change this navigation's name and then repeat for the other ones. Now let's select them all and then go to constraints. Center align them vertically and then distribute horizontal spacing. We can set the spacing here. Then we can add a parent container to them by pressing Command G. Set this container's width and height both to hug. Adjust its position and let's rename this to navigation. The next step is to create our call to action button. Drag out the text box and fill in the text. Change its font and size. Then right click and choose container selection. Let's add a color fill to its background and then change the text color as well. Now set its width and height to hug contents and then set the paddings. And let's make it round. Put it in the top right corner. We want to make it an interactive button so let's go to component. Press the plus button to get a hover state and change its opacity to 60. Let's add the interaction by connecting these two and then change this to hover. Then let's add a click interaction by pressing the plus icon. Choose open link and then put your URL here. Now let's go back to our page. Select all the elements and add a container by pressing Command G. Set its width to fill and height to hug. Then let's add a color fill as its background. We want it to always stick to the top, so let's connect it to the viewport. Then set its horizontal and vertical paddings. Then let's organize all the elements by adding their constraints. Set this to align center and align this to the right. Lastly, let's rename this to header. And we're ready to preview. This is how you create a responsive and functioning navbar. I hope you find this helpful and stay tuned for more tutorials.